Oh. Hello. Hang on one second. <laughs> yeah. I was just checking to make sure that I got the number of episodes correct because I lost count basically. So, um, hello all and welcome to uh, episode another episode of In Car Series Season 2, Episode 6. Episode 6. I was just checking my other phone on my, checking my channel because I, I lost count. Um, oh, you'll notice one thing. The exhaust is fixed now, so if you watched the, the uh, previous two episodes of this series, you would have heard that the exhaust was off on the car because uh, it was it was being replaced. So it sounded really good, but it was time to get it fixed. I had to save up some money because it was quite expensive to get it done. So. Um, I've been quite busy regarding the car. Yeah. So I was. Ah, uh, damn it. Typical. Ah, uh, sorry, just that thing's moved again. Hang on. Sorry. I don't want to edit it out, so I'm just going to let it run. The less videos that I've got to edit, the easier. This, when I do these in car series, it's just for ease because it's easier to make these videos than the other ones. I'm only doing them now and again, like yeah, and still doing the other ordinary videos and just doing this one as well because I'm basically curing uh, three birds with one cure. Yeah, I'm curing three birds with one cure. I don't like the I don't like the saying kill two birds with one stone. I don't like that. So. I, I make one when I say I, I cure two birds with one stone, <laughs> with one cure, sorry. It's always a, the same, this road was quiet in a, a minute ago, as soon as I pull in and I'm doing the video, it's like, always the same. Uh, so yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I was busy with this, I, I've got a few jobs, I'm going to be able to do a wee job on it myself, I said changing the back rear light holder. The connection on it's it's, it's arcing away basically, and it's causing through a light up on the dash and the bolt was out. I went and checked, <clears throat> but the bolts are fine. It was actually just the connection to the bolt holder for that particular pin. It's a two element bulb. It's four watts for the tail and 21 watts for the brake light, and both elements are in the one bolt. It's a double element, a double filament bolt. And on this model, the Skoda Octavia, uh, there's two bulbs on each side that, that do tail lights and brake lights. But the bulb holder also includes the indicators, the reversing light and uh, the uh, fog light on the off side. So, but the 21 watts, that's for the brake, the brake light. And I think what it was when I was pressing the brake pedal, the brake light, it's a bit more wattage and it was kind of like, because it's a bad connection, it was enough to throw the light up on the dash and there was a ball bulb. bulb. Whereas the tail lights were only four watts, and you know um, they were dim anyway. But there's actually another. There's four tail lights per side. There's two on the the other side on the bodywork. Um, no, I think what is best. I'm going to go straight on. Uh, I'm going to go to Pico Electric. That's how get connected blocks for it. So the other job is the exhaust. Costly a fortune. That's done. Uh, it's needing. The uh, CV boot, the drive shaft CV boot, outer gear, it's uh, split. Because when the car was on the ramp, but I was actually, sorry, the car was on the, the jack, the wheels were just left to, you know, they were just supporting, they weren't supported, so the, the car was supported at the, the sills, but the wheels were like dangling down, if you like, and that was enough to emphasise the split on the CV joint. But So that's another job that needs to be done. And that's got to be done because if the grease, too much grease comes out and too much dirt gets in, it'll wreck the CV joint, constant velocity joint. It's the outboard one, outboard one on the front rear side. It's a front wheel drive car, um, so it's got the CV joints on the front. It's the six speed transaxle manual. And it wouldn't matter if it was an automatic manual, it's the configurations. The front wheel drive, the CV joints got to accommodate the extra length. When the front wheels are steering, 
the axle has got to well lengthen and it's also got to turn as well with the wheel. So the constant velocity joint's got like uh, ball bearings in it and a cage that allows the that allows it to transmit torque but it's also able to extend and bend, you know, in relation to the steering for the wheel, for the hub basically. So uh, that's needing to get done. I noticed that when it was on the, the hoist, because as I say the weight of the wheel just when it's like it's not to support the weight of the car, so the wheel was just uh, suspended down and it was enough to you know exaggerates the I wouldn't be like that when it's on the road when the weight's on the, the joint the gators closed up more but when it's just hanging down like it opens the joint up more and I was able to see I just noticed that for me a spot it actually and it's split and the it clamps onto the drive shaft it's like a like a jubilee clip. <coughs> so uh, that's another job. Uh, the MOT's coming up soon as well. <laughs> so I uh, had a slow puncture on the front left, I had to get that sorted, that's done. But, um, I had a comment from one of my viewers wanting to do, wanting me to do some more midnight cruisers. I will do them, it's just that I couldn't do them lately because as I say the exhaust was off, no silencer so the car was extremely loud. I couldn't go about cruising the streets at midnight like that, you know. Uh, as much as I like the sound, you know. Uh, I couldn't go around at that time with the hour and yeah, like that, it's just be ridiculous so I couldn't do any midnight cruisers but now I could do them because it's fixed so um, there was uh, yesterday I was highlighting something regarding traffic lights a very dangerous situation with them as the traffic lights are misaligned incorrectly and it could result in a potentially dangerous smash basically um, I had to right away I was driving a vehicle I won't say which but I was driving a, a vehicle uh, and I had the right of way and there was another vehicle coming down that was supposed to stop at the red light but it ran the red light but I, I saw I saw what was going to happen so I kind of was ready and I braked and uh, put the, uh, I took the horn and flashed the light just to make this driver up saying what you know he went through the red light however I wouldn't put the full blame 100% on the well it's not to be a say who's at fault anyway because there's a multitude of situations that could result in that but you know when somebody runs a red light it's a very serious thing but I, I couldn't say for sure exactly what it, what it was that's just the temperature about it's four degrees um so the, as i say the, there could be a million and one reasons why they went through that red light but I noticed when I thought back, I went back and had a look at the light because I noticed before traffic lights, the, the angle, the misalignment is perhaps because it's shown green for the traffic coming down. If you see, just even there shouldn't be any green at all whatsoever seen from the traffic lights if it's supposed to be red for you. But because it was misaligned, that, because if you focus or fixate on a light, it, you know, just subconsciously, momentarily, and then that's enough to trigger his thought, or he or she's thought, that they've got the right of way. You know, just seeing green, it's maybe, I mean, obviously, you, you, you shouldn't, you should obviously be 100% sure, but it's possibly that triggered the thought that, oh, could, just because they saw green, you know, and they just, maybe just went in the autopilot, just all oh, green, and just go st steam right through, but it was red. But the light was, the configuration was, uh, the alignment of the traffic light on the pole was out of line. But anyway, that was yesterday. I made a video on that. It's on my channel. It's just called Potential Dangers of uh, Traffic Lights. Um, I've got uh, there's a mate of mine that's he's got his own channel. Uh, I thought I'd maybe just take the opportunity to plug it, I suppose, while I'm doing the car series. Um, He's, he was streaming as well, actually, I showed him. There was my other mate, and I, he's not really doing that video, but he was there. But the other guy that's doing streaming for his own channel, um, he's a bit younger than me, like, you know. Uh, so he does sort of different uh, things on his channel, like, you know. Um, he's, you wouldn't think he was only 19, because he's a big lad, and he looks a lot older. He would probably think he was a bit mid thirties, you know. Um but he's only nineteen so it's like different some of the things on my channel might be boring for him. Uh or, you know for his viewers that uh, may 
maybe stuff it for that sort of age would be different with some of the stuff that I need to like. Um, like certain, I don't know, music and hopeless we song names and music and that. That's just, and there's a different sort of uh, style of uh, vlogging, I guess. You know, mine's maybe boring for that age group, I don't know. But the surely he certainly, uh, he knows his stuff like he's, um, he's into buses as well. And if he, you know, you'd think he was a well, because he's huge, he's a huge guy, huge person. No, my, my other mate, uh, Brett, he's massive as well, but uh, the mate I know about there, he's in the buses, I know him from buses, and he's huge, and as I say, you would think he was in his 30s, and uh, his channel, as I say, it's, uh, it's if you are interested in the stuff that he's doing on his channel, it's called Strewn, oh, shh, damn it, again what, I'm not saying anymore because really I should get permission, even one plugging it, I'm going to get permission from him. Uh, anybody for that matter, come on, do my bastard. Damn, I'm gonna bug you. You should always get permission from, I uh, just assume, you know, but I, you should never just assume. You should always check, just to be sure that he, if he wishes, that he or she, whoever it is you're talking about on a channel, you've got to be just sure that they're one uh, wishing to be named. You can't just assume that they're wanting to be uh, um, okay with it, so I just forgot, I should have maybe just check, just to be sure. It's good to be sure. Should have got in there too. And too busy yapping he is. <laughs> miles away from where I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to Pico Electric. Now we're not parking in that disabled by the way. And reversing back and just in here to get the car positioned in. So we're not parking in there. Um, but yeah, don't just assume that people want to be named. But I just forgot for a moment, momentarily there. I was just. Should have really done that first, but if I get back to him and he's alright, I'll plug his channel on my video. Um, I didn't name the second name, so... But uh, his channel was quite interesting, it covers a variety of things. Uh, oh, well, I know him. <laughs> That's... So, right. Uh, that will do for now. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just film this. Hold on, I'll take a second. Give a minute. Yeah, so I'm just parked up here. I was just angling the camera away from uh, that area and getting it facing this way, so. So I'm going to get connector blocks for this, get the, I'll do that job myself, get that done soon. Uh, and I'll get back out and get more videos done. As I say, I, I shouldn't have mentioned, I should have really checked them first, but I don't think you would mind, but just be sure, if, you know, for any, anybody, uh, just double check, it's the best way to do it, rather than just assume that I'll be alright. I never, I never even asked, but I, I assume it would be well. When I get back on my next video, or any of you wishes, I'll mention it, just to plug his video. Um, plug his channel, sorry. It's a good channel, like you say, the age difference. I mean, I'm 48 <laughs> this year, so I'd show my age off now. <laughs> but he's uh, a lot younger, and he's into buses, so, but he's, as I say, you would think he was about 30, just with this, uh, he knows a lot of stuff. Uh, but he was, that's like, a, you know, he's like, he's, you would think he was 30 odd. Um, but I've known him from the bus club and that as well, because the other mate, he's at the, the, he's in the bus club as well, and, and uh, we all get together, but th we were thinking about sort of doing, uh, on his channel, we were thinking of doing videos, like, together on it, like, so I would be on his videos, uh, it would just be various things, I mean, <clears throat> I'll get back to you on that anyway, I'll check one first, you should never assume, but you always check, just to be... It's the way to do it, like, you know, just be certain of it. But, um, so I've got to get this done, get this connector block done. I'm not long up, by the way, this is my day off, and I'm quite, quite tired. I mean, I've been working seven days in a row, four-day week duties, so it's like a 70-hour week, and this is my day off. Uh, I didn't get in bed at about four o'clock, didn't get to sleep till maybe about five, and I was up again for nine, so about four hours sleep. Uh, it was more self and self indulged or self self induced or whatever. I was messing about doing things on the files, tidying up files on my laptop and I was watching videos and I was replying back, sending some meta uh, texts and I was I was just basically pissing about on my phone when I was in my bed and before I knew it it was about an hour and a half gone by. <laughs> that's what happens, you know, you get addicted to these things, you really do. I and mean, I know someone that's got a, a mobile phone that's got everything on it, you know internet etc social media 
and the person's never off it, right? You know, it's it's uh, not just the person. <laughs> no, I see a lot of people, uh, especially at that, you know, younger age. Uh, it's like it's just constantly in their hand, like you know, <laughs> I've got a scenic places and they're still on the. Uh, it's just the way it is. It's a it's a, a generational generational thing, I suppose. It's just the norm. Uh, I mean, it's. You think, I suppose, when you consider the television, I mean, when that came out, even if you go back to the 80s, you think, oh, everybody's got a television kind of thing, you know, that's just kind of mentality, you know, who's going to go? People didn't have tellies, by the way. Not everybody had a telly in the 80s, and probably might not even have a telly, no, can't just assume. But you just, it's just like, you know, who's not got, you know, television, you, th you sit there for hours and hours and hours. Well, it's the same thing, isn't it, in a way, because you're sitting in front of this screen. Um, so, give us a minute. Yeah, you just got to be careful where you're filming. I mean, if you're flashing cameras around, you know, just pointing them any, anywhere, you've got to be careful just where you, because you could easily forget something and focused on the screen speaking to you on that camera there. And the camera on the other side is pointing that way. So anybody, this is like a residential area, and... It might look like, oh, he's fill for anybody that's, that may be just ignorant and think, oh, he's filming this, filming that, oh, blah, and maybe just not thinking that perhaps did a selfie, because it's just the way that it looks, it like, might look like in filming them, you know, because it's focused like that. Just be careful if you're doing, especially in areas that are sensitive, um, you know, you got to be careful and just be aware of that, that people could get the wrong end of the, the, the stick, so to speak. Um... It's just words of wisdom, I suppose, because it's people can mistake and thinking whatever you know. You just got to be careful when you're having cameras about and watch the area, watch what you're doing. Make it make sure it's not pointing in somebody's window or something because they won't. Th they might just think filming there, but I'm not filming myself here in this car. I just parked here because I need to get the where I'm going. Uh, it's back there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get going. Right, uh, what was I saying? Um, I go. Go. I'll get back. I'll, Start going out in the car, it's like the middle of winter, eh? And I've been, as you say, me working uh, four day week late, just totally exhausted, but I've got other things to catch up on. Um, I put a few videos up, I was hiking on a couple of weeks, was it last Sunday? Sunday before last, I went up to, uh, it was from Butterstone, the small Scottish village of Butterstone. I walked, or we hiked from there, hill walked basically from Butterstone to the Scottish town of Dunkeld. That was a 15 mile hike and we went via Lochardy. Now that's a good video, so if you're into the, like looking at some of the Scottish countryside, have a look at my, my video if you want. It's called Butterstone to Dunkeld Hike. And that's with the Caledonian Hull Walking Club based in Dundee. That was that was formed or funded in, uh, what do you call it? It was uh, basically started in 1961. Funded, funded, or whatever, but opened up. <laughs> it's formed in 1961. I haven't been there since then. <laughs> My uncle, he was in it for the late 70s, uh, but he stopped going about 10 years ago. But I started going there in 2009, so that'll be what's that, 15, 14 years. It was just about a year after I started on the buses. I've been on buses 15 years, I've been driving buses for 15 years. And it was a year after I started, so it was 2009. I need to, to keep fit, because that kind of job, you know, you've got to keep fit. You've got to watch your weight and that, the type of work. It's easy to put on weight when you're doing that job. There's many reasons for it, like, I think, uh, you know, because it's, it's, you're constantly on the go, and then it can be, it can be extremely stressful. And I don't smoke, and, uh, you know, so I would eat more and chocolate. Stuff up, you know, and if you're sitting, stay, you're sitting. A lot of people think oh, you're just sitting and don't do nothing, but you're, there's a lot going on mentally. You're constantly on the go. Uh, a lot of the drivers I know smoke when they get a chance to, you know, on their break, etc., or vape now. You know. um, and they say the weight, it's easy to put weight on on that job, so you've got to really keep active physically. That's good for your mental health as well. Um, 
Right, I'm going to go on. So, no, I was just want to let you know what was going on, just keep me in the, the picture. As I say, I cure three birds with one cure because I could, on this videos, I could show you what's going on when I'm driving along. I could, you'll see me when, when you'll see me speaking to you. And I could also update stuff on my channel. So, that's why I do that. So, right, I'm going to have to go. Stay tuned, see what else I put up on my channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Ah, hello, actually, and back again, just a wee update. Um, <clears throat> I got the jobs done that is needing done. Still got to get the CV joint boot, but that'll get done. It's a CV joint gator or CV joint boot on the drive shaft. But uh, yeah, I got a, I checked with the guy. Um, it would have been, I assumed it was fine, but. I just had to check anyway, and he's fine with me plugging his channel. So I'll give you the, the details of his channel. Um, I'll put a pop-up or something there, because it's got to be the exact spelling. But the it's Strun Jennings. It's his YouTube channel, Strun Jennings. Now, it's not an easy name to pronounce very well on this camera, because I'm not great at pronouncing words. Uh, so I'll put the word, I'll actually write the word down on the, as a pop-up as well. Um, it's worth having a look at. He's got a lot, he's been doing YouTube YouTubing for uh, eight years. He's been doing it since he was eleven. So he's been doing it a lot longer than me. I never even thought I'd be doing YouTubing until April 2020. So that's when I started doing it. Uh, the reasons for it is it was well 2020 I'm not gonna but I had nothing there was nothing to do really. You know what, 2020 was a very odd year, so uh, it was, everything was online, so I got kind of, I was wanting to go to look at uh, bus stuff that was online, and a lot of it was on Facebook, and that's what got me started. I had all that time because of, uh, you know, everything was closed during the 2020, uh, so uh, I had all this time. I was getting bored, so I started, I thought, well, I'll put in some input. So I started joining Facebook, then I went to YouTube and started putting uh, stuff up that I like. So I got into it for that reason, like, you know, 2020 was a bizarre year, but if that never happened, then I don't know if I'd ever be doing um, vlogging as such, like, you know, but it just kind of progressed from there, like, you know, I had nothing else to do. It was that year, you know, so... I took off from there basically, but Strange been doing it for eight years. He's got quite a few, oh, must be about a, a thousand videos he's got or something. He's got loads of videos anyway. But he does a variety of stuff, a different kind of style to the way I do videos. Um, he, you know, he does a, his videos are put together well, he does a good job doing it. <coughs> um, I hate these circles. A lot of them don't really slow down, they just tank around the corners of speed. Um, but, you see, we're, we've got our own ways of doing our own channels. I like these videos. It's, you know, but I thought, he's a mate of mine, so I thought I'd plug, it, plug his video, uh, his channel on my videos. And I think he's, he should have gave me a mention on one of his videos. So, I'll probably um, appear in some of his videos as well. With me do stuff like, you know, so I could share the sort of videos on the, the links in the description of that. I'll probably put a link in the description, in fact I'll put a link in the, I'm trying to remember I'll put a link in the description. I'll definitely put the name of the channel in the wording on the pop-up and I'll put a link in the description. I'll actually just post it if you're interested in a look at his channel. So, it's got a, I haven't watched all these videos, I've only watched like the, the latest stuff because I only kind of um bumped into him this earlier last year at a wedding actually and we kind of got to know each other from there so it wasn't really over like i've not known him long at all but we've probably been in the same sort of things because he's into buses as well so we were at the glasgow museum when his vehicle trust and he was there as well <coughs> so we've kind of like got a similar kind of hobby or not when it comes to the buses and he likes cars as well and um, 
his, one of his videos is a kind of acceleration test. It was me and uh, another guy. We're just, you know, I had the exhaust off of this one and we're getting the sounds and everything and he's got a recording on his channel. I've got recordings on my own channel, I think. But, uh, so yeah, I just thought I would update that. So it's, because it's, don't assume anything, it's just double check. It should have been a bit fine, but I just, I've been doing this, like, publicising it. I, I like to just double check things to make sure it's 100% okay, you know. Um, so the other jobs in this is a very last CV joint. But I, was, I look at it again and it's, it's grease coming out of like, It's definitely needing to get fixed. I was just going to get this car to be wash uh, and I'm going to get a bite to eat. I'm absolutely starving. So I'm just going to go to the jet wash actually. Um, so they're, they're queuing up to get into the car wash. There's only one person on the, the jet wash, so no way in that. But I was jet wash my cars anyway. Right, hang on a minute. I'm just thinking. So, uh, I've just found off the video now. That's pretty much it, just to see that. I got the work done, I've got that light fixed. I got the slight adjustment done underneath the car that needed to be doing on a on a, uh, a ramp. Not a ramp, it was actually the, like a jack hoist. So that's sorted. Um, I've done the light myself was there. I'm just gonna get a wee clean and get a bite to eat. So, um, yeah, give his channel a, a watch, like. Well, it's quite good, he's quite uh, entertaining. Uh, Quite an entertaining guy. He, he, he's got a different style of doing videos, um, but see, had a good blather away. I'm like no bother on one of his videos and that. Um, I, haven't, I haven't watched very many of them. I've only, as I say, I've only watched a few, just the first bit. But uh, it seems like the ones I've seen were quite good. So I think he does a good job. So um, anyway, I'm gonna get this get this done. And get some of you. Hey, <laughs> thanks for watching. Just stay tuned. See what else. Bye for now.